camera. Okay, this is golden. Let's do it. Okay. Action! Hey, everybody. I'm Cheyenne Adamson, your host for the Yes Phonics channel. And you're back, and I'm back, and it's fantastic. And this is where homeschoolers, teachers, and educators everywhere come for valuable teaching information and insights. So time spent in nature offers things you'll never find on your couch, obviously. And mounting research shows that activities in the great outdoors offer deep, restorative, immune system boosting, stress reducing relaxation. And something as simple as a long walk in the woods can lift your mood, cause you to think more positively, and feel more internal calm, greater harmony with the world around you. And this is reported by Tina Venom, expert in exercise physiology. So in the classroom or homeschool environment, this can translate to greater confidence and belief in oneself. And the restorative experience of a lifestyle that includes outdoor activities can also aid in reducing stress about schoolwork, homework, or test anxiety. Also, exposure to nature also reduces pain and illness and, and speeds recovery time. And this isn't just some new agey, woo woo, nature freak speak. The science behind behavior patterns that show levels of serotonin, which is a neurotransmitter that helps regulate mood, uh, rises when we are outside, as outdoor air is 75% less polluted than indoor air, according to a study by the Environmental Protection Agency. So positive mood produces broader attention, more creative thinking, and more holistic thinking, according to the researchers at the University of Pennsylvania. Exercise encourages your brain to work at optimum capacity by causing nerve cells to multiply, strengthening their interconnections, and protecting them from damage. And this is reported by a great Dr. Joseph Mercola, who's an MD and he's a New York Times best-selling author and I've mentioned him before. He has the um, Huffington Post 2009 Ultimate Wellness Game Changer behind him as well. And he's got some great research and he's got some great articles out there, you guys. So just as a healthy body functions at a more efficient rate, a mind working at full power or even at a vibrant, engaged pace will absorb, process, and retain information better than a tired, sluggish, and apathetic brain. And you guys, I haven't been keeping track of the numbers. I've just been going over the, the data here. So this is the fourth tip, tips and tricks on the list here. And that is the power of light. And this is an especially fascinating concept. So outdoor light, which is direct vitamin D that you can get by obviously being in the sun is vital to the immune system. So this is according to Ray Pika, who is a children's physical actuist and the author of 18 books for parents and teachers, very prolific. And Pika reports that the physical activity optimizes the brain's performance by increasing the capacity of blood vessels, allowing for the delivery of oxygen, water, and glucose to the brain and obviously glucose would just be energy from food on the other hand you have indoor activities and particularly mind-numbing digital media which is has been touted as relaxing and euphoric but they're actually counterproductive to a child's health education and overall well-being now you can see our resource list below in the description below um, to find specific tangible things that you can do now to help shape your children's mental, physical, and emotional well-being long into the future. And clearly the benefits of engaging your children in outdoor activities goes much deeper than getting good grades. Hopefully you guys are getting your kids outdoors and showing them the great properties that the outdoors can offer. And with that, that's the end of the video, you guys. I, I hope you liked it. It's a little bit different than we normally do. Usually we're more focused on uh, particular problem solving in the um, private, public, and homeschool environment as far as teaching solutions go. But this one I feel kind of ties right into all of these problems we've been talking about. And that is um, improving um, children's well-being and improving your guys' well-being by offering you good, helpful solutions to your everyday problems. So with that in mind, Feel free to um, leave a comment below. Let, let me know what you think. And uh, I guess I'll catch you guys in the next video for sure. And stay classy, be well, and I'll catch all you guys in the next video.